folks, Mike Hogan here from Hoagie Lore Company. I'm on Middle Ground. It's a big show that runs along Martha's Vineyard east to west. There's a number of big striped bass here foraging on large squid. So today I've uh, selected the 14 inch amber hoagie. It's an excellent color uh, to replicate a squid. Um, if you see a squid in its natural habitat, it does indeed have this amber color. So I have this bait tandem rigged. I'll get into how to rig this bait in a little bit, but for now, you can see some fish rolling. So I'm gonna get set up here. I'm gonna go get them. So we're coming up on the rip. I'm gonna approach very slowly. These fish are in very shallow water and they can be quite spooky. And uh, so, you know, not only is it good etiquette, um, you know, in fairness to the other boats around you to approach and leave a spot, you know, very slowly and quietly, but it's also good fishing practice because you want those fish just to be as excited to eat as they currently are. We have an excellent situation here and we don't want to alter a thing. Just cutting up on a nice tide here. We've got the shoal. We're just going to go just to the other side of the shoal. We're going to stem the tide. By stemming the tide, I mean we're going to leave the boat just slightly in gear, just enough where we're pretty much going to stay in one place while the water runs under the boat. We sort of have a, a neutral position. We have this bait tandem break, so if the fish happens to short strike the bait, the second hook serves as an insurance policy. Now that smaller fish that we just released um, came in on that second hook. But one thing to remember, these hooks are very, very sharp, so you want to be careful landing the fish. Right now we're going to slide back up into the rip and see if anybody else is home. Today I chose the 14 inch hoagie uh, because of its size. There's a lot of fish here, both big and small. There's also a lot of bait here. So we really want this bait to stand out. There's um, you know, a big population of squid moving through here. That's what the stripers are keyed in on. And as I said earlier, this squid is an excellent, excellent, excellent squid imitator. It really replicates their coloration in their natural habitat. We're going to slide up to this point here. We're going to slide up to this point. And we're going to stem the tide just on the tip of this point. So I'm going to cast up tide. I'm going to work the bait as it gets swept down by the current. And uh, slowly twitching it really taking advantage of the uh, soft action of the 14 inch hokey. So here we are. It's very shallow here. So I cast out and get control of my line. I'm gonna twitch it as it sweeps into that rip there. Nice fish. springtime fish about a middle ground just off Martha's Vineyard on Cape Cod we're using the 14 inch amber hoagie fishing the swing and the rip and as you can see that hoagie's ready to fight another battle let's go get him we've been using the tandem rig so far and having great luck with it the water's become a little weedier and so we're going to switch to a weedless presentation for these fish so what I have here what I have here is our new hoagie swim bait hook. This is the unweighted version. 
And so what I'm going to do is with this little corkscrew style keeper, I'm just going to screw the bait onto the keeper. So it hangs like so. Amber's a good color to show this because you can see how that keeper sits right in the nose of the plastic. Just got to take a minute to line that hook up with the bait just so it has a nice natural straight presentation. Bring it through. You'll see how that tip of the hook's exposed. Just pull the bait back. You can bury that right in the plastic. You can notice this is a laser sharp hook and I'm having no problem swinging my hand over it. Coming back up on that point where the stripers have been holding. We switched over to a weedless presentation on our bait. The water's become very weedy. While the tandem rig is nice for mitigating short strikes, these fish are larger, they're hitting for the head, and that second hook is picking up a lot of weed. Very large fish jumping, so we're gonna go after them. So I'm gonna cast out in front of this turbulent water here. I'm gonna let the tide swing the bait right into structure. Cast out. Short little rod twitches, making that bait dance. There we go. Right in the edge of that rip, the fish took it. Take the fish back to the start. As you can see, this is a long bait. Doesn't need much hook in the nose. He's fished right from the head. This is a nice fish. It's not the necessarily the biggest ripe in the world. Got a solid 10 pound fish. Very healthy release. And you can see this bait is barely harmed and ready for action for another fish. These hoagies are a very tough plastic. <clears throat> Quick little re-rig. We're back in business. Springtime striper. Get on the 14 inch amber hoagie. Especially just loving the amber today with all these squid in the water. 
So we had a great day here on Middle Ground. Uh, the conditions were perfect. Um, I just love these overcast days, a little bit of rain and no wind. That is the most perfect situation uh, for striped bass. They have very sensitive eyesight and they tend to get a little lethargic and a little more spooky in high, um, high light conditions. Uh, in a situation like today where there's a lot of overcast and rain, you know, they can stay very active throughout the day. And, um, you know, it's just a wonderful time to fish. It's springtime. Uh, so we know, as we've said earlier, there's a lot of squid moving through. The stripers come looking for, um, you know, their share of the squid that are moving through Martha's Vineyard Sound. Um, it's just, uh, just the conditions are perfect.